Hey, it's Zach. I got two packages in the mail today. One of them's a Bricklink order, and the other one is from that same guy on Instagram named Daniel that sold me these three classic 440 seconds. Well, let's get the Bricklink package over with. That's what I got from Daniel. It's quite a good deal, let's just say. Let's have a good look at what I got. Piece of paper right here. It's probably got my personal information on it. And what is in here? It is some classic clone pilot helmets. Yeah, I finally found someone in Bricklink who could sell me classic clone pilot helmets for a good deal because if you remember the like one video I did where I got all those like clone pilot torsos, those like 2005 classic clone pilot torsos, I got like a whole bunch of them and while helmets aren't as easy to come by, I finally found someone who could sell me them for quite a better deal and I was just really giving me some trouble trying to cut through this like darn. At least they got here safely, so there's that. But darn, like, how much more plastic is there? Like, look at all this. Look at all this plastic crap. Like, what is this? Holy crap, it's giving me... I'm actually having trouble with this. Oh, ironic. I can't even get into this. And yet, it's the simplest things that are the most complicated. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm trying to do this carefully so I don't damage them accidentally, which hopefully I did not. Oh, really, it's giving me trouble. Like, couldn't you just, like, cut it? Well, I don't want to, like, accidentally damage anything. Like, jeez. What the hell did they do? Shrink wrap this? Oh, finally we got it. Freaking, finally I busted it open. Come on, give me... Give me a clone pilot helmet. Come on, give me. There we go. I had to fight for that one. All right, here it is. I got five classic clone pilot helmets, which I'll tell you a little funny story about these. I actually had these ones in my cart for months, like on Bricklink. Like you can add stuff to your cart and such and you don't have to do anything about it until you can like pay for it or whatever. I left them in my cart for months and waited for the price to decrease on them. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I wanted to get them for cheaper and while well, the price kept on lowering and lowering. So yeah. Oh geez, what happened to that one? Oh geez. Hmm, looks like that one didn't have a nice day. Hmm. Oh yeah, well. I'll probably give it to a used clone pilot for so anyway, so yeah. Even though I'll probably tell the seller and say, yeah, this one's a little bit used looking. Alright, here's the other one. Very nice. Alright, here's the last one, still trapped in this stupid plastic. Hopefully that damage on that other one was there before, not like, say, when I was trying to remove it out of there. Alright, here's the last one. Here it is. Oh, I didn't notice there's some vents missing there. Hmm. Even then it's like, out of like, I don't know how many. I don't know, where's that really damaged one? Oh, it was, oh, here it is. Oh my god, what happened to that one? Did a dog get to that or something? Ooh, jeez, I do not want to be that clone pilot helmet. Yeah. Alright, this one looks decent. Because I have some helmetless classic clone pilots on standby, so... There we go, that's one more classic clone to the collection. Put it right there with the 440 seconds. I'll just see here, inspecting. Ah, yeah, that one's a little used. Okay, that one, that one looks a little messy. Even then, I don't really care if like one or two are looking like crap, but at least like, you know, that's a little worn. Oh yeah, and then, then we got this badly damaged one. I will classify that as battle damage. I think I will choose, I'll choose this one, there we go. So yeah, that's two more classic clone pilots added to the collection. They will be going into the army display case for the classic clones pretty soon. And these three, I'll just have them in my classic clone fodder drawer when I need them the most or whatnot, a little baggy. For now, I'll just put them in this little box. All right, with that out of the way, which hilariously enough, that took me quite a while to get them all out of there. Now let's just move these out of the way. 
This is the package from Daniel on Instagram. Which, oh boy, you won't believe what I got for a pretty good deal. Oh boy. I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble to cut that in. Well, here it is. I got three of the DK Collectibles pad printed blue 442nd V2 and a OG minifig maker 501st as well. Thank you, Daniel. I will I will provide these a nice home. So yeah. <sighs> Let's look at this one first because this one's obviously the most unique looking. Well, here it is, has some airy light macros and oh, that is really cool. Yeah, the accessories are kind of weird. They have like a weird little kind of shiny finish to them. They're like coated in plastic. Oh, they're kind of strange. Anyways, I like that. That'll go pretty nicely with this. DK Collectibles pad for 501st. It'll go really nicely with that. Which I'm guessing this probably was a original episode three helmet at some point, but then customized the hell out of like this decaled mouth, this decaled stripe on the top of the helmet. And well, these are area light macros. The like area light P2 macros. And oh yeah, it has a nice little classic loud hailer stud blaster. Which, yeah, let's see if it has any special head underneath. No, it's just plain black head. Might as well have a look at some of the parts as well. Might as well. Here's the pauldron, which it's kind of like those CAC pauldrons, how it's like one flat, pe like flat piece, then you like bend it like this, and then it goes into place. Which, yeah. I've seen these OG minifig maker figs, figs for a while. I don't know why I was having trouble pronouncing that. Just my dyslexia, probably, or... I don't know, stuttering or whatever. Yeah. Minifig Maker Figs. I've seen them around for quite a bit. In fact, I think that classic Rex I had actually used a Minifig Maker helmet, I believe. So yeah, here's the comma. It's quite stiff. It reminds me of those, you know, the ones that LEGO used for the 2009 Clone Walker Battle Pack and all the, like, Clone Wars, Clone Commander, so they have the stiff plastic commas. Yeah, it's quite stiff. It actually kind of reminds me of old CAC, but this is actually Minifig Maker. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking. I'm glad to have it in my collection. It will be going in the classic customs case over there. Yeah, oops. And I could probably have this on hand for while keeping, like, let's say some special clone figure safe or whatnot. And I'll probably put this in the classic clone drawer. This is like a blaster. All right, let's look at the DK Collectibles V2 Blue clones. Which, yeah, when I first covered this clone, let's just say I had some issues. Which, yeah, here's the first. Pretty nice looking. Well, here's my original one that I gotten for free because that damaged 212. And yeah, here it is, same thing. Which, it's pretty nice. And I'll tell you how much I got these four a piece. I got these 10 USD a piece. I am dead serious. I got three of these for 30 USD. I am freaking serious. I got three of these for 30 USD. That's how much one of them goes for alone on DK Collectibles website. Because he put up like five more of these because he'd found like more and he's... Like, DK Collectibles is going to be phasing out this version of his blue alternative clone. So basically, I got these and well, I guess I stocked up for a while when he was going to retire them. And well, now I have four of these. I have four of these DK Collectibles pad printed blue 440 seconds and well, now I have this nice minifig maker 501st. It'll be quite nice to have some more add to the classic clone ranks when they are needed the most and such. And yeah, a little interesting fact about my DK Collectibles Blue clone. It's kind of starting to wear like that little white speck, even though I just ignore that. It's nothing big, plus now I have three more of this figure, so it's pretty good now. Which, yeah, these two are kind of the same. Like, if you look at them from the back, you couldn't tell if they were like, like, 501st or blue alternative clone like look you literally couldn't tell if you like looked at both of them from the back just kind of hilarious in my opinion so yeah it's pretty nice oh wait this is the, that's the one i originally had this is the one from daniel none of these clone pilots i'll just put these off to the side well this is what i got in this video I got three DK Collectibles pad printed blue alternative clones sold to me secondhand, and then the OG Minifig Maker 501st, which probably could be Apo, 
yeah, it's probably Apo. And then these two clone pilots, which were helmets, but I had torsos, heads, and legs on standby. So yeah, that's two more clone pilots to add to my army. So yeah, I can end the video here now. Well, thank you, Daniel, for the really good clones. I will take excellent care of them. So yeah. Well, that's all for now. Bye.